What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on Car Mechanic Simulator. I am still very much sick, but that is okay. Um, I think, yep, okay, I'm gonna add the license plate to this card and I'm gonna see how much it's valued at. Mostly because I failed to do that unless, oh actually I did see the value of it in the last episode, but it was a little different. I forgot about that as a license plate. 131k! That, okay, so apparently added license plate increases the value by quite a bit. I wasn't expecting that. It's actually valued more than the Daytona than the last video. Or the last, last video. Yeah, that. 131k in my pocket. We now have 477k. Now, let's pull up the next vehicle order. Which is this thing, whatever this is. I don't... You're a victim of road accident. Is it gonna look like it was a road accident? Okay, it looks like it was in a mist of repairs, not really in a road accident. This is a really clean color, I'm not even gonna lie. But before we begin on this, I shall move it on the inside. I'm gonna go to the junkyard, but before I go to the junkyard, there's something in the settings I want to change. This right here, cars available everywhere. This will change what is available in the junkyard. It, and you'll see cars in the junkyard that aren't supposed to be in it. It's kind of like that one time I found that, uh, junkyard gem that's in that video. Now that wasn't actually because of this, but... Maybe I'll find something good because of that. I'm not going to disable travel fees. That would be a- I mean, technically I'm cheating right now, but still. What's travel fees going to hurt when I have almost half a million credits? Bucks? Whatever. Oh, oh, please tell me this is the one I'm looking for. Hey, yes, this is the one I've been looking for. It's got the DOHC Supercharged, but before I go ahead and buy that, because there's a good chance I will be, I'm going to look around and see what else there is here. You know, when you select the option that says cars everywhere, you expect cars to be everywhere, but there- There really isn't, and uh- the next thing I find is a van, of all things, and a car I've already worked on. Oh, and a Camaro. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, a Mustang. Definitely not interested in it. Okay, I am interested, most definitely, but I am more interested in this thing over here. The reason why I am choosing this vehicle is because I've tuned it in my off-camera account, and this thing made 1,600 horsepower. That's the most power I've ever seen in any vehicle, but the thing is... I never actually drove it. I never see how fast it can go. I never did any of those things. I just built it, let the power sit, and then sold it. It was, it was pointless. I didn't test any of this stuff because I wanted to test it on my auto camera couch so I have ever found it again. What in God's name? Yeah, that's something that happens every day. <laughs> what the shit? Well, that's not something that happens every day. Anyway, let's move this to my second. Car lifter. All right, let's see what we can find out what's wrong with this thing. Three pages. That's actually not that bad. I'm assuming one of them has to be a radiator. And all the suspension. What the hell? Everything's just covered in rust. Judging by what it looks like, the driver's side took the most of the hit. Because that's what rust means in this game. It's just damage. All right, unfortunately, the engine can't be started, but uh, I don't think I... Wait, let me see. I don't think I need a test to find out what's wrong with this vehicle, considering every part is just about covered in rust. You would have thought this thing would have been in a junkyard. Well, I guess if we get started on this, this vehicle doesn't look nearly as bad as the other ones. It should be fairly easy to find out what's wrong with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that is everything. That was seriously the easiest thing I've ever worked on. It hasn't even been five minutes since I started working on it. This is probably the easiest project I've had so far. Or, uh, customer project thing, whatever you call it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and replace everything, and then I'm gonna get started on that thing over there, and I could show you what the hell it's all about. The thing is absurd. But I know for a fact it's gonna need the fattest tires you could possibly get, and that's definitely not it. You know, might I say I'm happy I bought all that that ridiculous amount of bushings. It's starting to become useful at this point. Oh, I forgot in the last episode I actually leveled up and I never bothered to go look to see what I can get for that. And I'm not even sure what I want, if I'm honest. I might just sit, sit on it, just like I did with the last one, and just get two upgrades at once. It's always nicer that way. <laughs> that was all the oil that was in it? That was nothing! What oil did you want me to drain? Because there was... Jesus, how does that even happen? You know, how can I not recognize that tag? I know I've worked on this car before. She just said, more power, babe. If you don't know what that's referenced to, you need help. And he said he wanted to paint it a factory color. So you want to get rid of this beautiful ass gold? Really? Why? Why would you do that? That, uh, that gold, I'm using that in my next car. I'm just saying, that's a beautiful color. And it is now done. At least it should be. I think I got everything. So, yep. Yeah, let's finish this order and we get 11 grand for that. That's definitely a profit. I didn't really spend that much money on this thing. But now we got another pro uh, customer's car out of the way. We can go ahead and start working on this thing. This thing is going to be a beast. I can't wait to get back onto this vehicle again. I haven't been able to find one in such a long time. Okay, so this guy's, uh, the former of the owner of this was obviously braggadocious about his car. Friggin' stripes and the name of the car on the stripes. Yeah, that, that's one way to tell everybody what you have. Yeah, for, fortunately for me, this is American car, regardless of the fact that it was made in 2000, it still has leaf spring suspension. You know, 
all that American logic. But enough about that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, work on this car, build it up, do whatever I gotta do, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm not used to doing this at all, this is a little different for me, but I gotta paint the heads this time. I just... Why is that changing but nothing else is? Oh yeah, that's a bright blue. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I don't know why you can paint the time and cover, but you know what, why not? This edge is gonna look so stupid. That's gonna be hard to miss. <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to be the same color and they don't even match. This edge looks horrible. I've officially designed the ugliest motor you can buy. If you have any questions on why, please don't bother, because I couldn't tell you. But hey, at least it's mostly blue like the rest of the car, right? <laughs> it looks so stupid. It actually looks gigantic in this car for some reason. I'm trying to figure out is why this has the same wheels as the car I was just working on a second ago. Alright, way too much time and a bunch of DW04 later. We finally got everything put together but the wheels and the interior. I haven't bothered with the interior, but I have a feeling that I'm probably going to be using seats that look just like those because those are really nice seats. I ain't even going to lie about that. That pure white interior is kind of... It's almost intoxicating. It's weird. I kind of like it. I don't usually like white interiors. But I'm now going to choose rims, and I'm going to choose tire size, which chances are, given how much power this vehicle is likely going to have, I'm going to be putting the widest possible tires in the rear. I'm going to be putting 421s on this thing just because, well, I mean, turns out rim size doesn't really matter. Your maximum width is always going to be 355s once you hit 19 inches. And that's unfortunate. At some point, I'm probably going to start modding this game just to make that even more options available. The problem is I don't know how much of a profile I should have on them. I'll try, um, let's try 45, some one of them. See how that looks. Uh, that might be a little much. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a little much, but, you know, let's see how it looks. Yeah. Yeah, it looks stupid. I just bought four rims for nothing because... 21s are way too small for this vehicle. I'll go on the full 25, screw it. Okay, 25s is freaking huge, so <laughs> this is gonna be stupid as well, I bet. You know what? It makes more sense. It looks more normal. Well, normal-ish. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that looks much better. I'm gonna stick with that. That, that looks so much better. I mean, it's got, it's got a little poke, but it's not as poke as much as I thought I would. For some reason, the left side is poking more than the right side, even though they're both the exact same tire size, but hey, it, it'll work fine. Uh, those front tires are poking a lot more than the rears are. Holy hell. Now, I don't know how much the alignment might fix that poke in the rear, because none of them lined up. I mean, they don't, they're the same size wheel, and one of them pokes out more, so maybe this will fix that. Yeah, they actually fixed it. Yeah, it looks like it fixed it. Okay, that's good. Ah, uh, this looks more like a dunk, no matter what color I paint it. Don't know why I like that. That looks really good in this car. What kind of liveries do we have? Well, nothing that we can actually paint the hood with. What's the point of it? I can't paint the hood. It looks stupid if I try to do that. Yep. It's gonna be a Rolls Royce Stress 300 dunk. My first dunk. Yeah, I gotta like it. But dunk and dunk. Not the wise way I could have said that, but okay, I'm, it's, it's all good. Let's take it to the dyno and see how much power this thing has. Yep, yeah, it's always great trying to do this without oil. In fact, it has no fluids. <laughs> I completely forgot. Okay, I must have missed something because there is currently an ambulance outside my apartment. I can't help it. I gotta go see what it is now. Yeah, sometimes I hate being a human and incredibly curious. But I don't know what happened because they're leaving now, so I hope nobody died. Starting test, finally. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is the most powerful car that I have found in this game. Now before it had 1600, but I can only assume I must have somehow upgraded those parts. That's 1500 freaking horsepower! That can only mean it could achieve some absurd top speeds like that crowd Vic did. So I'm adding all these gears, and I'm about to see how fast this thing can go. I see that as totally attainable. Probably not, but let's see if we can do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's drive without a steering wheel. It's nothing like one of the Mustang steering wheel inside a Chrysler. Like, that was actually a stock option, so that wasn't me choosing that, that was the game. Alright, go to the speed track. Let's see if we can beat that top speed at 313 from that Crown Vic. The naked Crown Vic. Okay, this thing is fast. Well, we officially beat it. Yep. That's we became a Beyblade for a second. This is not going to be drivable on the track. Maybe we can get a little bit faster. Hold on. Trying to keep this thing in a straight line is difficult. Okay, that's not going well. Okay. Yep, I'm getting some air. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I'm that has not gone well for my second attempt. 200, 325 miles an hour. That is the fastest I've ever gone in this game. And that includes my off-camera account, okay? That's insane how fast I've gone to this thing. Uh, now I'm about to do something incredibly stupid because 
there's no way this is going to be drivable, but let's give it a shot. You know, good old American muscle car with 1,500 horsepower. Yeah, this is going to end well. Now, I don't know what car I used to get a minute 30 seconds, but let's see how this goes. Yep, I'm spinning out when I'm just going to the straight line. That's just not going to... This is not going to go well. This wouldn't even be a good drag car. I can't keep it straight! Oh my god, I got a throttle control to leave the hell out of it. The brakes are not good. The brakes are not good. I mean, let's be real though. What brakes could possibly be good for this much power? First lap, I got them under a minute 50, so I'm gonna try again. I wanna see if I can beat that score. Yeah, that's gonna go well. You know, if I could beat it without spinning out, that'd be fantastic. And if I do that, that's definitely not gonna help. Apparently, braking early doesn't help either. Seriously? Are you serious right now? I got a worse lap time than my first one. For the sake of the video, I'm going to give it another go. Yeah, this is going very well. Okay, I barely beat that. I barely beat my last lap. I am never driving this car again. Alright, guys. Let's see how much we're valued. Actually, you know what? You know what? I gotta create a tag for this. Perfect. Buy that. 1,800 credits. Well worth it. Yes, sir. Uh, where are we at on value? 160k! Yes. This is what I'm talking about. This is so... OP. This is, the, like, the most overpowered car I've ever driven in this game so far. And I'm looking forward to finding someone that might potentially be more powerful. But I also... My next time I play this game, I hope to find a car that's more, you know, drivable. That is all the time I got for this video. If you like this video, please, for the love of God, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.